On the 22nd of May 2022, the 2043 Transport for Wales service from Crewe to Cardiff Central was running as normal. Nothing too much wrong, no issues to report. That was until they entered the Craven Arms area. The train consists with three Class 150 Sprinters, 15242, 15279 and 15240. What the driving passengers didn't know, however, was that a crime committed up ahead would result in a very scary event for everyone. The train had around 60 passengers on board. As the train passed Craven Arms, it was going around 60 miles per hour and on approach to Honorbury level crossing, and nothing was suspected. So you can imagine the shock when the driver spotted a mini digger on the line. No time to react. They slammed on the brake and blew their horn, but it was too late. At around half past ten on the 22nd of May, the Transport for Wales service smashed into a mini digger at very high speed. After rolling on a bit longer, the sprinters grinded to a halt. The driver then had to act very quickly along with the guard. The train was on fire. A fuel leak caused by the impact ignited, causing a small fire to begin burning under the unit, but it could get violent very quickly. The train was evacuated promptly, emergency services arrived on scene and they tried to deal with the incident, handle injuries and extinguish the fire. Only one person was injured with a hurt ankle, but luckily they did not require any hospital treatment. The damaged sprinters were temporarily dragged into a siding just outside of Craven Arms Station. This is also a crash which is a bit more personal to me, as I saw the aftermath of the incident on a train from Cardiff to Chester. As you can see here, the damage was extremely bad, not to mention it had also collided with the siding buffers due to brake failures on the unit. Now we must ask, how did this happen? How did the mini digger end up on the railway line? How could it have been prevented? It was assumed that this was a deliberate act, with Sam Blackburn, a detective chief inspector with the British Transport Police, saying, While we are at an early stage of our investigation, we are confident this fire was a result of an attempted theft of two mini diggers, which then ended up on the tracks. The diggers were stolen and recklessly abandoned on the railway track. Reportedly, the other digger was found near Byron Embankment. 15242 and 15279 had to be taken out of service due to major fire damage. These units received. 150240 was able to continue passenger service. After this, Transport for Wales had lost two of their essential sprinters, which hurt a lot of their services, and it hit the South Wales Metro the hardest, such as routes from Radder to Croyton, which saw no services immediately after the fire, meaning Transport for Wales had to get railway placement buses for workers, school children, and everyday commuters. The future for 15242 and 15279 is a bit of a grey line. It says that they would be repaired and re-enter service. However, the last we've seen them was then being dragged away from their sidings and transported on road to an unknown location, meaning the possible end for these units. At this point, I would ask, how could we prevent this? But unfortunately, there isn't much prevention for such a reckless crime. The best scenario here was if a train on the other line saw and reported the digger, but unfortunately, the first train to see it was the 2043 Transport for Wales service from Crewe to Chicago Central, which was never able to complete its journey, all down to one selfless and thoughtless action.